Hi and welcome to my instructional video. Um, I made this video because I'm, uh, I've been searching a long time for some good solution for live mixing with the XR18 and the BCF2000. Well, this is my setup I came up with. Uh, it's a Raspberry Pi 3B. Uh, it's connected to an HDMI monitor and connected via USB to the BCF and via LAN to the XR18. And uh, if you, I'm using a portable monitor, that's working quite good. So here's the uh, XR. It's connected uh, via a short LAN cable to the uh, router that's behind the panel. And the other three exits can be used for a LAN connection. But it's also possible to use the Wi-Fi for um, iPad and iPhone uh, connections. Here you can see the um, little desktop uh, file I made to ensure the application starts up uh, at boot. Here you can see I just switched on the power and now it will uh, load the Raspberry Pi system files and then it will start up the XR app and that's been done with the desktop file and after that OC Media will start up um, because you can set an option for auto start and then it will start the latest configuration that worked. Here we go. Um, I click on connect to connect to the XR and then transfer mixer settings to the app. And then you'll see the OC Media logo and that will start up in a second. Here we go. Auto start. And there we go, we're ready for mixing. Uh, here we can see the setup for the XR. Um, I'm connected through LAN uh, and Wi-Fi on the XR is disabled and Wi-Fi is done via the router. Um, here you can see the GUI preferences. Um, this one, restore windows at startup is um, necessary for good operation with OSMIDI. And this one, USB OSC messages should be checked to ensure the Mackie control mode with the BCF. Here we can see the OSMIDI window. Um, I will open the configuration editor to show you uh, how configuration can be done. I'll open the configuration file now. You can have multiple. I only have one. Here we go. That's what uh, the BCF looks like. And it's now in simulation mode, so I can press buttons on the BCF and then they will show up in the application to see what is assigned to which button. Um, there are multiple options, so you can choose whatever you like. This is the one I came up with. Um, especially this one is easy. Um, I assigned rotary controls to certain fuse. Uh, it doesn't do anything with the mix, but it switches the fuse. So I press this one. I'll uh, go to the sense. And uh, this one, oh, sorry, this one goes to the sense. The other one went to input. This one goes to the main. That one to the effects. And that one to the meters, the meter bridge. And that way you can easily uh, switch views. Uh, here we have the main view. And when you close the configuration editor, it will automatically go to the start button. And then everything is linked. Um, you can see I selected the first button. Now I press the rotary controls to s switch views in the app. You can easily assign functions by the capture mode. Uh, just select a function and then press the button you want to assign it to and then hit save. And when you exit the configuration editor, it will automatically ask for a start and then 
assign the new functions to the buttons. There we go. I've mapped most important functions to the buttons on the right. Gain, pan, EQ. Um, I've got a DCA group, a bus one to six, and aux send. Um, I've, I'm using the top buttons for the bus sense. So you can see what channel will be sent to a bus. You can see they all show up on the channel above. It's bus two. It's very handy. Here we're switching to the FX sense per channel. Go to bank one. You can see up there the blue and the yellow lines getting bigger and smaller. That's the visual aid. That's three, four, five. Here you can see the assignment I made um, for the buttons. I've made two custom layouts. Bus one to six and the effects. I've got three banks, so easy going up and down. My eighth ma failure is always the master. You're going to into the EQ section. First one is the type, the mode of the first band. We can see all variations. Uh, the second rotary controller does the gain for the first band. And the frequency and the fourth rotary controller does the Q. So that's this one. Then we go to rotary controller number five. That's six. And when we press EQ again, OC MIDI automatically goes to uh, EQ sections band 3 and 4. So same buttons apply, but then for bands 3 and 4. So you have control of all, over all four bands, and um, especially in live conditions, uh, it's very good to have that uh, within reach. This is the compressor. Also rotary controls. Uh, the first one is on and off, and the other seven are used for the parameters, like threshold, ratio, mix, gain, attack, hold, and release. As you can see here, Same goes for the gate. First one is on and off. And the other rotary controls uh, control the various settings, threshold. Ratio. Attack. Hold and release. So I'm using the other um, rows of buttons for the selects. So I can select the channel and um, the game button I'm using to go back to the home screen. And I also have a, now this is game, as you can see, on the first channel. And if I'm pressing pan, it's altering the pan of the first channel. And I can still use the second in this select. So number two, three, 
for etc. Uh, the upper row I'm using for mutes, and when I